Running technology at a community bank today is a very difficult job. The banks are getting larger, they're becoming more competitive, and uh, technology today is a big part of that competitiveness as well. I would say bank on it banks are really able to embrace the strategy. They're able to embrace their intelligence to really focus on business. We're going to reduce the risk that the bank has with information technology. We're going to provide better results for your employees to better serve your customers. But more importantly, we're also going to help you drive shareholder value by turning technology into a strength instead of a weakness. You have the power users at the banks who are just blown away by our project team and how much opportunity that opens for them. They can now go forward with products that they've been thinking about maybe rolling out for their customers for years but haven't had the ability to do so. We often hear, I, we should have done this sooner. You know, it was a missed opportunity, but we're glad that we're with you guys now. We're so far above what anybody else can do. And when you go to our facility, you'll see the difference right off the bat. It's hard to believe that there's actually somebody different out in the market, but I do take it as a challenge and a mission for our team to show them that there is different and we are different. Most of those IT vendors are similar uh, to your attorney in that the more problems a bank has, the more they get built. You know, your attorney's best day is your worst day. And IT shouldn't be like that. And that's what the flat rate pricing does, is that by aligning our goals with those of the banks, uh, our most profitable day is when the bank's not having problems with IT. Technology firms that work with community banks have seen that their business is becoming more and more difficult, and they've looked for ways to increase margin with all the extra tasks that they're having to take on by purchasing less expensive equipment, not upgrading the equipment, and offshoring a lot of their resources to other parts of the globe. When pandemic hit, I think both us, the regulatory community, the compliance community, the cybersecurity community has seen that gap. And so we take a look at a bank on it that is 100% based in the United States, who owns all of our equipment, who owns all of our data centers. And that conservative approach um, really has served us and our clients well through this pandemic. There is more and more focus from the regulators on cybersecurity. Reputational risk is huge. And when the worst does happen, it's not gonna be the IT director standing up there in front of the news media, it's gonna be the bank CEO. 24-7, 365, somebody is always monitoring every part of our client's data. Our team is in front of it, ahead of it, getting it resolved, and then we're able to call the client and say, everything's taken care of, carry on with your day. I think the difference between bank on it and these other piecemeal solutions is we're able to develop a integrated solution that truly uses artificial intelligence, automation, machine learning in order to handle all the difficult tasks necessary at a community bank. While you, Mr. Banker, may not necessarily be up at four o'clock in the morning uh, checking to see how the health of your server is, how the health of your workstations are, whether patches got applied appropriately, we have virtual engineers that are checking on those things continually around the clock to make sure that our systems and our processes are running as designed and as expected. So when the auditor comes in and scans it, they don't see those vulnerabilities because they're no longer there. And that's a huge value, especially since it's just part of the package. No matter when you call, no matter what time you call, no matter what the issue is, you're getting us. We don't outsource what we're doing, so I think the people is probably the number one thing that we have to offer. Instead of just the people who fix your computers, we can be trusted advisors. We can be people who help you make strategic decisions, who help you stay secure. Many of the banks that we're partnering in with this year are progressive banks. They're looking to grow. They're looking to do new things with technology. They're making that decision that I don't want to be in the commoditized technology business. And so they're making the move over to bank on it. I was visiting with another banker here just in the last few weeks, and um, the banker said, you know, we're looking at a couple of different vendors, and I said, and I could match their price. And the banker said, oh, that'd be great. But I said, I'd have to move my help desk offshore to India, and I'd have to have all my security monitoring done in Singapore, and I'd probably have to wait 24 hours to call you back every time you needed something. And the banker just kind of laughed, and he said, I get it. He said, I understand. He said, what you're saying is that you're not selling the same product. And I said, exactly.